to northern Michigan and uh, this first day of spring. Doesn't uh, look too much like spring here yet. Uh, we still have a lot of snow, but uh, these temperatures are starting to slowly warm up. Kind of hazy today, about 28 degrees, but uh, not much wind, so it's actually pretty comfortable out here. Looks like the uh, animals had quite a party here last night. We have to uh, tidy up a bit, get things back in order. And uh, I've got to unload some food. Somebody was kind enough actually to drop a couple of uh, bags of food out here. Uh, they must have dropped them off yesterday, I'm thinking, because the animals have gotten into it. <laughs> they uh, help themselves. They've chewed through the bags and uh, got a little bit of a mess there, but they'll, uh, they'll certainly clean that up. So, and part of that probably was because I uh, ran out of food here. There's, uh, there's some left, but not much. So I'm going to take a few minutes here to uh, unload some food, get it ready. I'll come out and uh, got some things to share with you and uh, some thank you. So I will be right back. today because I, uh, I have a feeling they're going to come in and eat this up pretty quickly. And this is that uh, mix that's got the oats and the alfalfa in it. Uh, the pellets that are just packed with vitamins and minerals put up by Karina. Help keep them all healthy here. Boy, it is so nice to have all this corn in the cob. Like I said, there's got to be at least 100, 150 pounds worth. That's nice to see that uh, I'm sure you'll see the raccoons and the uh, porcupine out here tonight enjoying those. All right, well, I'm going to make this kind of quick because they look like they would really like to come in here and eat. So I will get right to it here. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Rob and Cindy Downs from Toledo, Ohio. They've been helping us out actually the last few months. Uh, they've signed up to help us out on a monthly basis, and we really appreciate that. That uh, really helps us to budget to make sure we've got uh, a steady stream here of food for the animals. And if you'd like to see the folks that contribute on a monthly basis uh, to help us out, uh, just go to snowmancam.com. That's our main, main website. I know a lot of you know this, but for the new people, and there's been a lot of new people coming in. Uh, but if you go to snowmancam.com, uh, and uh, just above the live video, you'll see uh, see monthly contributors. Click on that, and it'll take you to a page, and you can see all the people that uh, that are helping us out. And we certainly appreciate each and every one of you. And then there's also a page, too, showing uh, uh, where people have made one-time gifts. And uh, again, that's on snowmancam.com. Above the live video, there's a link there that says Feed the Wildlife. So all those people, so important to keep, uh, keep what we're doing here going. Uh, let's see. Just a couple notes to myself here. I saw the video last night uh, of the raccoon knocking down the flag. And Brenda said it looked like the shirt got a little messed up. I think that looks all right. Thermometer survived the night. But again, first day of spring here, and it does not look much like spring yet. We, uh, we get a delayed spring here in northern Michigan. Uh, there's actually been times in the not-too-distant past where we have had uh, a foot of snow uh, come in on Mother's Day before. So, so we, we know uh, spring is, it may be here on the calendar, but it's, uh, it's definitely uh, not here for sure for us. So, uh, just want to mention a few things. 
thank you to all the folks that uh, that are new and have joined our Facebook pages. Uh, it's great to have you there. I think you'll find out very quickly it's a great community of folks. Uh, a lot of interesting things, a lot of great conversation, uh, and it's a, it's a great way to find out uh, what this is all about and what we're doing here. So if you do Facebook, uh, just search for us, Snowman Cam, and uh, our two pages will come up, our Snowman Cam page and then also our uh, Snowman Cam fans group. And uh, both of them are, are great to be involved in. And I uh, just want to say welcome, too, to all the, the people that just joined our YouTube page. I've been promoting that a lot here lately. And uh, that, that is really a nice way to find out about the history of what we're doing here, to see video of wildlife that have come in here uh, over the years. You'll see news stories. Just a great way to, to catch up. And there's just hours and hours and hours of video there. And uh, we're uploading things every day. So uh, if you do YouTube, uh, just go to snowmancam.com, our main page. At the top of the page there, you'll see YouTube video link. And that'll take you right directly into our page. And then just hit that subscribe button. And then uh, anytime you go there, uh, you'll see the, the latest and greatest of, of what's going on here. Uh, I know uh, just about every day, uh, John Baxter uh, edits down what I do here. Those are there. And then I upload videos, uh, some that other people have captured from EarthCam. Uh, and, and also, too, occasionally we'll do a live uh, video there on YouTube, so you'll definitely want to get notified when that happens. Uh, so again, just go to snowmancam.com and click on that YouTube link. And uh, I also do lives occasionally too from uh, from our Facebook pages, both the fans group and our page. So if you're following those, uh, if I happen to be uh, at my desk working on something and I see something interesting going on here, uh, I'll go ahead and, and fire up that live video so you'll get a chance to see that. And uh, Speaking of uh, live and, uh, and activity, I know last night uh, uh, it was kind of fun to see. Right before I went to bed, I kind of dialed in to see what was going on. I always like to check to make sure there's still some food out. And uh, there were, uh, let's see, there were two raccoons. There were, uh, there was a possum. Uh, there was the uh, porcupine and a couple of deer. All, all in here at the same time. So that's kind of fun to, to see. It was kind of like the United Nations of Wildlife here. Uh, had all the animals. Uh, I didn't see any fighting or anything going on. Everybody kind of kept to themselves and uh, were enjoying what little food was left out here last night. So, so that was kind of fun to see. Uh, also, I'd just like to uh, give a shout out to all the folks that uh, do come to snowmancam.com and participate in the chat room. Great, great bunch of folks there too. So if you haven't had a chance to do that, uh, you know, pop on over and check it out. And you can either get involved in the chat, or you can just sit back and watch and uh, watch what other people have to say. So uh, there's usually something interesting going on in there. And uh, I see the deer are, you know, they're not sure what they want to do. They're kind of standing sideways now. So I think they're just waiting for me to shut up so, so they can come down. They're hoping I don't see them. All right, no chickadees above me, so I see. I think I'm safe there. So I think that's all I wanted to cover for today. Uh, again, thank you to everybody out there that, that watches us. We uh, certainly appreciate that. And uh, be sure to spread the word uh, through your social media groups, too. And uh, so if you think you've got some friends that uh, might be interested in, in uh, checking in occasionally on nature and, uh, uh, I don't know, just kind of see the peace and quiet and the season changes here in northern Michigan, be sure, uh, be sure to let them know. I know there's a lot of folks out there that are uh, trapped inside office buildings uh, and in a cubicle with no window, and uh, this kind of becomes their window on the world and uh, maybe help eliminate a little bit of stress throughout the workday just to pop in once in a while and just kind of listen to the birds and uh, see the deer and turkeys or whatever else should uh, happen to wander through. So, uh, so welcome to, to all of you new folks. Like I said, and, and when you do come in and you join our uh, Facebook pages, be sure to uh, let people know who you are and where you're from, because uh, I get a chance to see you when you come in. I, I know where you're at. I'm able to see your Facebook profile, but nobody else knows you're there until you actually make a post. So uh, be sure to do that and uh, just give the, the people the pleasure of being able to welcome you to the site. I think you'll, you'll find right away how welcoming people out there, and, it, and it's kind of a cool thing. So, all right, I'm going to get out of here. Got a chickadee here, uh, picking through, trying to find uh, just the right seed. In the meantime, he's dropping some on the ground, too, for the other animals. 
So I'm going to take off. Hope everybody uh, that's watching us from around the world is uh, doing well, that uh, you're safe and healthy and comfortable and warm and well fed. And uh, with your help, uh, like the folks I mention every day, uh, I'll be here every day to uh, put food out to make sure that the uh, animals are kept healthy and uh, get them through the, the remainder of this Michigan winter. So take care, everybody. Have a great day. Welcome to spring, and I will see you tomorrow.